how to use ManyChat in 2024. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can use ManyChat to automate our social interactions on Instagram, Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, or Telegram. But in this video, we will be focusing on using it for Instagram. However, the process is very similar across the different platforms. The only difference is only in the process uh, when you are going to connect ManyChat to your social media account. So for Instagram, the first step is go to ManyChat.com, of course, and click Instagram. And there you will be asked to log in with your Facebook account. Now, why Facebook account? Well, as you see over here, I already done it for my account, but why Facebook account is because you can only use ManyChat for your business Instagram account. So to make it a business Instagram account, you need to create a Facebook page for your account. Now, I trust you enough to do that. It's on Instagram. You can even do it on mobile. Uh, you go to Instagram settings and you find the meta uh, settings and you can create a Facebook page for your Instagram account over there. So now I've already done it for myself, as you can see. Uh, so we will continue the tutorials. Okay, so let's go to mini chat dashboard. All right, so uh, here's how it looks like when you are first uh, logging in to mini chat. Now here is our dashboard. We have our home, our contacts, our automation. You can also set up the live chat and more settings. Now contacts will include the generated leads from your automations. So many people use ManyChat, maybe even you, to sell uh, courses or for customer services. And with customer services, uh, as you know, you will have contacts to manage. Now, I don't have it uh, for me right now because it's a clean slate for me, but you uh, you will see your contacts over here in the menu. And your home uh, will only consist of uh, insights. So, you can, so ManyChat has insights. To see that, just click here for your uh, account statistics and the rate of... Uh, conversions and the leads generation you can see it all uh, on many chats insights and it's very useful to track how you are doing and as you can see this is just a test account for this tutorial so it won't have uh, any data but as you can see the information is adequate okay so let's go to automation the secret sauce for many chat now as you can see I've already have one set up for uh, my Instagram. The title is "Use Instagram to your to grow your account." Now, why is it so generic? Uh, the title. Uh, it's because this is actually a template by ManyChat that I use and active, and I can activate if I uh, want to by clicking "Set Live" over here. But here is how ManyChat uh, operates, uh, basically in automation. So you have a flowchart, and you create these flowcharts based on two. So, so the flowchart has two type. Uh, it has two types. One flowchart type is an action, and second is the condition or the trigger. Now, as you can see, the one with the zap here is the is the the condition, the trigger flowchart, and this is just to basically just to um, set uh, some parameter that will activate our uh, action. So, as you can see, this. A uh, trigger will be linked to the action over here, send message. Now I'm going to uh, give you a, an overview on what this uh, flowchart does. So uh, this flowchart reads when user comments on your post or reel. And then when it reads a comment like, now as you can see uh, for this trigger specifically, I use specific keywords, but you can also uh, set it to all comments. Now, the comments include webinar, X, line, or robot. Now, you must have seen those posts that said, uh, type this in, com in comment to receive our free bundle or to like sign into our newsletter. Now, that must be very tiring for the content creator to uh, look at their comments and see the comments that include the keyword and email them and DM them 
uh, DM the commenter themselves, right? So <laughs> there's no way they do that. So they use ManyChat to do so. So here's how it works. So firstly, uh, so any comments that include these words, because in, in my post I said uh, uh, comment webinar to uh, receive my free bundle, right? And in the trigger, every time someone comments these, I will reply to them by using a variation of one of the three, these three uh, responses that I've uh, set. Now, why three, not only one? Uh, it's, it's because I just want some variation. So uh, everyone will have the different uh, reply in comments so it doesn't look very robotic. So the next step in this flowchart is send message. Uh, so I will uh, send it as a DM. So you can change it as uh, either as a comment reply or a DM, but you can also change this to uh, as comment reply. So there you go. You can also change it to within 24 hour or uh, you can also change it to instantaneous. So what I did is that I said, just hi there, you saw your comments and uh, I, I send them a link over here. Now next is if they follow business Instagram, uh, so, so this is the link is only available to our followers, right? So, so as you can see, this flowchart is is made in to to increase your follower in mind. So you can you can they can only receive your freebie if they have followed it. So I add a condition, uh, a condition flow, and in the condition block, if they follow uh, my Instagram account, if yes, then I send the link over here. But if they don't follow my Instagram account, I will ask them to follow first. And then uh, when it's done, it will uh, review the condition. And if the condition is not met, they will go back to uh, my request to follow the account first. And then if they have already followed only, then they will see, they will receive the freebie. So that's pretty much how this flowchart works. Now, but please bear in mind that the future flowcharts that you want to that you want to send uh, has a high uh, likely chance to uh, to use a variation of this flowchart setup. So let's just create from scratch, uh, just to just to show you how you we can uh, edit the flowcharts. Because I do not actually recommend you to you to do the flowcharts uh, from scratch. Because when you go to automation and click new automation over here, you have a plethora of choices over here uh, that is in the form of templates. But uh, yeah, but for this tutorial, I'm going to uh, start from scratch to show you how we can make a flowchart. So let's create a new trigger. All right, so let's see. The use case is let's add a follow-up so that you won't have a cold contact. So people oftentimes uh, leave your message on read or they forgot to um, reply your message and that can lead to a lost contact right now to do that just let let's just set a reminder now bear in mind this already has a template but i'm just going to show you how we can uh, edit the templates uh, that's why let's start from scratch so the trigger is now is if a user sends a message right now if the uh, there you go if they still uh, left you on read after uh, you know after wait after 12 hours let's see it's more than eight hours ago right okay if, the, if they still left you on read eight hours ago then just do this interaction so we'll change the uh, arrow over here from here to here all right and from here to here and that is to set up like if they still left you on read now if they don't left left you on read so if not check another condition so if the user on instagram no no if the condition is let's go to instagram system fields if the user is messaging so if the user is, is is interacting 
then we will send them a message like great and we can continue with the next step there you go so that's the basic like i think that's how you can uh, create a simple cold uh, instagram reply or follow-up uh, system in many chat so once you're ready just set live and your mini chat should be good to go yeah but I, but as i said uh, the automation has a lot of template to offer so you don't have to do it manually like i did previously you just need to uh, find the appropriate uh, template uh, that you want like for example this drive traffic from your life to the website is quite interesting because you can see the traffic. Uh, you can see that the template is already set up for you. If you click it, set up template, uh, it will uh, interact with your Instagram live. Now, uh, when the many when many chat sees that comments on your uh, live are are start to flowing in, they send a message to the commenter to uh, to invite them to your website. Now that's just one of the examples of the uh, many chat templates. And as you can see, after your automation is set up, you will have your automations over here. And let's say for example, you've created a somewhat uh, complex uh, template like this. This template involves one condition and I think it's already pretty, uh, pretty complex, although it's still very simple. Uh, but what you can do is to just duplicate it so you don't have to start everything from scratch so don't worry if your uh, if your flow is uh, already including a lot of uh, a lot of elements uh, you don't have to worry because you can duplicate it to make a version of it or to do it for other platforms so there you go that is all from me thank you